EM Discharge is an incredible overclock and has become a new personal favorite of mine for engine. What EM Discharge does is when shooting at your turrets grants a chance for an electrical discharge that explodes and deals area damage and electric damage as well at the cost of ammo and direct damage. But EM Discharge makes your stubby become a perfect AOE crowd control weapon that just destroys the bugs. You'll see. Also, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Yes, we're recording. Okay, I did it again. <laughs> I accidentally was recording a video in the middle of a mission. I got so far in that mission too, but um, I realized I wasn't recording, so I was like, well, might as well finish this mission. I had quite a funny moment with a detonator. All right, anyways, let's get back to this. So the, the conversation that I was having, I, I kind of already forgot it. Oh yeah, so yeah, this overclock, EM Discharge. I barely touched this overclock because I honestly have no idea how to like really use it to its full potential mainly because I'm just bad <laughs> but I remember using it in one of my older videos and it was working quite well for what I was trying to use it for so I'm gonna assume that now that I have it built actually properly that it's it's gonna be pretty good and I also was talking about the November update that was another one which I'm really excited for that I'm just excited to grind for skin colors and level up my guns, in quotation, level up my guns. I'm also just excited to see what they're going to update because they said that they were going to add, they were going to add buffs to the guns, mainly buffs. So hopefully that'll be good. Oh, it's happening over there. Hopefully we can get a Steve. Oh, that makes me think, wonder, will the Steve mod actually calculate the regenerative, regenerative bug's health? I'm pretty sure, Blit. I, oh, hello. Hey, man. <laughs> Come here. I'm pretty sure Blit did calculate that. Huh. Oh, the, the skull is freezing all of them. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. I was like, why are these bugs just frozen? Come here, bugs. Come here. God damn. <laughs> that can be triggered like a lot, dude. Holy shit. Okay. Come here. <laughs> so the, the little animation for it is kind of off-putting because it makes it think like Oh, I had to wait a few seconds to trigger it again, but nope, I could just keep shooting the turrets. They could just keep exploding. Where did the skull go? He gone. Bro zoomed down here. All right, well, let's get let's get stuff set up, shall we? <laughs> oh, stop! Oh my God! I can just go back and forth between the two of them. <laughs> oh, these poor guys. Come on, guys. Don't you enjoy the damage? What's the matter? Here, have a lure grenade. You, get out of here. <laughs> and they don't even need to be fully reloaded for this either. Hey, try to get over here. Get over here and suffer my wrath. Of my turrets. <laughs> no. Get juked. Oh, there he is. It's the man. Yep. Oh. Floor grenade. Get this. Get this. Holy hell. Uh, okay, take measures in my own hands with the flamethrower or the, the whatever this is. This is actually a really, really fun overclock. Okay, you know what? Changed my mind. This is a good overclock. Boy, oh boy, does it go through all of my ammo. <laughs> I do remember there being a glitch with this where your turrets 
only had to be partially built. So you can just shoot them. And then you could move them around the cave. And you can just shoot the, the little spots for them. I do remember that being a glitch. So I was watching Ron's video on it. Where he was just absolutely wrecking the dreadnoughts. And honestly, I kind of wish that's how this overclock worked was you just had to shoot the nodes rather than a fully constructed turret because then it would make this overclock a little bit more viable to take rather than having to just you know set up your turrets in like one specific spot i'm a little bit iffy with this overclock because it's like i don't really it's it's a fine line between it's very viable does a lot of crowd aoe and it's not viable and it's very stationary i don't know <laughs> it's a big ass cave there are a lot of bugs. Can I get a Steve? Question mark. I want to actually see if this mod does calculate the regeneration. I'm pretty sure it will. I'm sh I'm sure Blitz took the code from the the health of the bugs and implemented it, which is what I'm assuming. Oh, bugs, bugs, bugs. We are the bugs. Where are the guards, dude? No guards. Oh, I better get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I guess no guards. Guards do have a lower respawn chance on regeneration, regenerative bugs. Oh, hello. Bye bye. <laughs> Maya to take camp here. Is that a gold loot bug? Hey, yo. Huh, that's cool. Goes from Nitro to Morkite. Oh, hi. <laughs> you know, playing these Morkite missions reminds me of that one time where we had that deep dive that had the beginning mission where there wasn't enough Morkite. I remember that too. Just barely able to get 190. And what you had to do was you had to mine out the Morkite and let the loot bugs eat it. Or hope that you get the dark Morkite beer before you go in it. I remember that. Me and my friend actually played that one too. And that's what we had to do. We had to mine out the Morkite and wait for the loot bugs to go and eat the Morkite just so we could get enough to leave that was such a funny funny mission where was that morkite that i had bosco mine out oh it wasn't this one i thought i thought you were gonna pull me towards you get out of here get out of here nerds okay i'm gonna get a slasher i'm gonna get a slasher yeah <laughs> i do like this it'll just spam this Good boy. Who's a good boy? Hey. That's my bug you're attacking, buddy. You know the consequences. Ah, oh, there's a guard right there. No! Ah. Uh, I could have gotten I could have gotten the guard. Sag. Oh. Molly? You're getting in the way like you usually do. We are seeing tell and enjoy this EM discharge. <laughs> Ah, oh, this poor, this poor guy. <laughs> I love EM Discharge now. You know what? I actually love this. Yeah. I think it does calculate it. So far, at least. Yeah, that, that really does just take up so much of your ammo. <laughs> Damn. Get up, Steve. I guess it is better to have a slasher Steve on regenerative bugs since he'll just get his health back over time. Plus he just does so much damn damage dude like wow. It's also good to get one on lethal enemies too because that modifier will help Steve out as well. He'll be the main issue right there. Nope. Don't try this. Don't try to silent grab me now. It's back onto the topic that I was talking about in one of my videos. I was talking about Lies of P and how me and my girlfriend have been playing it and I've just been steamrolling it like crazy. So apparently it doesn't actually start, um, the hard mode doesn't actually start till after the puppet master or after the, the puppet king. And that's where me and my girlfriend have basically gotten to. Cause I, I was, wa I was looking at a lot of the reviews for Eliza P like a lot of the negative ones at least and why they don't necessarily like it. And it's because the game starts off really fun, cool, challenging, has an interesting like premise and lore, you know, like how most from software games do. And then it falls off after halfway through the game. And I really hope that doesn't happen for me 
because I actually really like it so far. I'm actually enjoying the hell out of it. I don't think it will. I don't really mind that so much. I'm a more, how should I say it? An open-minded player. There's just, there's only one boss that I think really gave me like the run for my money, which was this like clown mini boss outside of uh, a certain area. The only reason why he is an exception is because he had like a seven hit combo and you didn't know when it would stop. So you literally have to count it in your head. You're like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> and then another thing about him is that his perfect guard, he was doing like a wind up attack. And that one was really hard to judge when to perfect attack that one since you can be at different ranges from him. And it was hard to tell when you had to actually guard guard when he threw the punch or if he had to watch the projectile. That was really hard for me, at least. Other than that, that was like the only boss that really gave me a run for my money. Another thing is, too, is I could have ran past that clown boss and gotten the checkpoint so I could have easily walked back to him instead of having to constantly die to him and then go back through all this like long drudge that we call a run back. Ah, just pull another one out of your ass. Ah, uh, another guard. Sedge. Oh, well. Slasher Steve is good. Speaking of him, where the hell is he? Oh, Steve. You up here, buddy? There he is. Hey, Steve. What you doing, buddy? What you doing, guy? Come on. Here, I'll widen this up for you. Make it a little bit more accessible. Can you make it through now? Yeah. All right. Who would have thought that EM Discharge is actually really fun? <laughs> For someone who's only been playing for like over a thousand hours, uh, I never tried picking up EM Discharge once. I always thought it was just such a stupid mechanic that you had to move your turrets around just to do it, but eh, I've grown. See you later, nerd. <laughs> it just like popped out of existence. It said, Ugh. So I do actually wonder what next season is going to be. I wonder if they're still going to add the Reclaimer as a class or if they're just going to give us Recl oh, if they're going to give us like Reclaimer armor, which that would actually be really cool if they gave us Reclaimer armor. But I do think DRG wouldn't suffer another class. I feel like it would kind of benefit to have a fifth class with new weapons. I like how you like quickly trans change like two different hands. You're like, oh, oh, oh. Now this Steve health bar is super good because it calculates the regenerative bugs as well. Go. Oh. Goodbye. <laughs> the perfect crowd clearing and single target damage build for NG. I think uh, EM discharge has become kind of a personal favorite of mine now for just how much fun it is to just wreck all the bugs. I don't think I still like turret arc too much. Turret arc, it seems nice, but I feel like that one has more setup in it than EM Discharge does. Oh my god, a meatball. I didn't even know those things were in here. Ah, oh. stop reminding me, DRG. I could have gotten a guard. <laughs> the slasher is fine. You hear me? The slasher is perfectly fine. You know, the more I think about it, I really do wish like the Warthog auto shotgun had some elemental effects to it, like a fire, like fire pellets as like an overclock or hell, even a gear mod. And that's why EM Discharge is now my new favorite. Just gets rid of the nano sites immediately. Yeah, I wish the Warthog had like a fire overclock to it. So that way you can have more of the fire electricity effects. Cause that seems to be what engineer's specialty is. It's just fire and fire and electricity. Can't forget my turrets. Gimme. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Yeah, no. EM discharge has now become one of my favorites. <laughs> I went into this video thinking I'm not going to really like it that much. It's going to be kind of kind of bland. Nope. That was really fun. That was a whole hell of a lot of fun. Nice. I love this loop bug dance. It's so good. Hehehehe. <laughs>